hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see this is samsung galaxy a13 5g the model number is a136b so today we're going to replace the screen and the good news is a13 5g is fully compatible with a04s so if you do have the screen replacement for samsung galaxy a04s that would fit in a13 5g without any issue so first of all, we're going to switch off the phone, take out the SIM tray, that's the first thing. And we should have some tools, as you can see, the flat opening tool, then Philips screwdriver, tweezer, and flat plastic opening tool, both of them. It's a little bit stiff, so consider it's going to be take about 5 to 10 minutes if that is first time in your life. Okay, be careful when you use the iSysma right next to volume button and the power button because if you push too much, you're going to damage the power button and the volume button. Okay, especially in this side, you have to be very careful and on the edge, make sure you do with firm hand. And if you use any metal tool, make sure of you don't put too much force, otherwise you're going to damage the plastic cover or might be your finger so that is a potential hazard as you can see I'm a bit struggling with that model it took about five minutes just to make the video shorter I first played this video but it took about three to four minutes okay once it opened don't pull the back cover because there is a power flex attached to the main board so if you open if you pull the back cover you're gonna rip off the actual flex wire now from the mid cover we're going to take out all the screws and remember samsung always use same size of screws so you don't have to organize it once it removed then take a plastic opening tool or your fingertips to disconnect the battery first then the power connector and then all other display connectors and stuff we're going to remove it because the original screen that we are replacing it comes with the actual housing that mean what we have to do is we need to pull out every single bits and pieces from the old housing to the new one so example we have to take out the main board the secondary charging board the vibrator and front camera ear speaker loud speaker all of them if you really think to change the display for any Samsung, I would suggest you don't go for copy. Okay, the copy one never good. Yes, it's cheaper, 10 to 20 pounds, it depends. But most of the time, the outcomes is completely different. So if you get copy example for this model, might be you're gonna spend 30 to 35 pound, okay, British pound. And if you get the genuine, one might be is going to be cost you almost double 60 to 65 but believe me or not that would give you absolutely brand new phone so when you use the touch you're going to feel fully smooth and proper refresh rate but if you get the cheap copy one you'd have many issue with the touch and glitch and everything okay so as you can see we uh, remove the secondary back cover and now we're going to remove a couple of screws from the main board and secondary board before we pull this out. As you can see, one of them here, another one, the main board. And then we'll pull it out. <laughs> and the second hardest job for that replacement would be removing the battery. Removing any Android batteries is a kind of challenging because they don't use same sort of adhesive tape underneath the battery like iPhone. Okay. But I always use a trick. What I do, honestly, I use 99.99% rubbing alcohol to spray underneath the battery, which would help to make the adhesive softer so that we can pull out the battery without damaging the shape or anything. Now, let's spudge up the actual main board. Hopefully, the board would come easily. All right, so everything has uh, taken out from the old housing and the power button 
of course the old one and the volume button comes with the new housing anyway because that is 100% genuine so how do you know this is genuine or not first of all you're gonna find a, a different feelings when you touch it's quite heavier and smooth in looks and shiny and you're gonna see handwriting with the marker 360 so now we're going to reverse back everything we'll put back every single components there and there are some plastic film protector that you can see we have to remove it before we attach the main board and everything as you can see those one the camera protector and everything and then the job would be done before we put the screw on we're going to give it a test and see if everything is functional properly or not hopefully you'd enjoy the rest of the video let's see how it goes and if you do like please consider to subscribing to this channel that would help me to keep going thanks for watching